Greetings, the internet. Yokel here, back with some more Feed the Beast Revelation. How's everybody doing today? Hey, you know what? Today, there is no plan. No plan at all. So we're just going to kind of ramble around through this episode and uh, see where it takes us. And uh, look at like it's taking us right over here to this grindstone first. Uh, last episode, I mentioned, as you may recall, that it is summertime coming on here in the States. Uh, and uh, I have... Lots of stuff that I'm going to be doing, and that's not going to include recording and making videos, probably very much. Oh, I'll lose that one. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Look at that, size 7. <laughs> uh, I want that up to 100% uh, cutting, because I want to show you guys this here thingy, and I've never showed you before. Let's see, let's put that one away. These are all of my 100% purity crystals up here, and you can see I have a lot of them. Uh, really, really easy to make with this setup, and how it works, I don't think I've showed this to you guys uh, in a while. So, they got the fluid placer, puts the liquid starlight into this spot. You can see it just, it just grew there in size. And that's what the liquid starlight does in case uh, anybody needs a refresher on what's going on here. It makes the crystal grow in size. And let's take a look and see what the size is. It was 7. Now it's 135, which is much better. I'm going to see if I can't very carefully bring it up to 100% cutting without breaking it. Yes, there we go. Okay, great. This is what I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so once I get it to 100% purity and 100% cutting, I can throw it in here. And what's going to happen is it's going to grow just like normal in size. But once it hits the maximum size, this ranged collector underneath it is set to whitelist perfect crystals, 900 size, 100% purity, 100% cutting. And so what will happen is when it splits, if it is got all of those stats, then it'll get sucked into the range collector. This is great because what had been happening um, is, and it's actually what happens when I'm growing these guys here, you can see their size and their cutting, their cutting is not 100%. So what happens is as they grow, they'll hit the uh, max size limit of 900, and then they'll have a chance to split. And that's how I got all of these, I'm just splitting them up. But uh, what happens without the ranged collector whitelisted like this is when you get one that gets up to that max size, it can still split. So I pull it out of there as soon as possible. And, uh, and right now I just come over and I check it every once in a while because usually there's only one in there at a time. And uh, when I have them, I stick them over here. And as you can see, I have nine of them now. Hooray! So there we go. That's how that works. I haven't showed that to any of you guys. I haven't showed that off in a while. And I don't think I've ever showed off the little super simple ranged collector thing that I have set up there. Let me tell you about the stellar refraction table over here because I made a little spot for it and I went ahead and used it and I'm sorry, I probably should have waited and done it on camera, but I have uh, made, let's see here, I've got a Decidia glass, I think that's the one I had already, I have an Armara glass and I have an Avitas glass and what that allowed me to do was put mending on my mantle of stars. Hooray, mending. And also on my hardened leather leggings. <laughs> and I'm, a fact of which I am way more excited than I should be. Another exciting thing that happened is that, and it's really, really strange too. It was just totally fortuitous. I was over here making some of those infused glasses. And all of a sudden, I just had this feeling. I was just like, oh, you know, I really need to keep an eye out for the... Um, uh, the eclipse because that's the only way that you can get the last constellation and I'll show that to you um, This one right here a horrible horror horologium horologium. However you say that Let's see. It looks like an hourglass hourologium um, That one only comes out after an eclipse. So uh, I'm over here working on the infused glasses stay light I was just like oh right 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 I need to keep an eye out for an eclipse because uh, you know I want to get that constellation and so I just looked up and the Sun was directly above me and it was an eclipse and I'm not even making that up <laughs> It really really happened. It sounds totally preposterous. I don't blame you if you don't believe me, but that's swear to God That's what happened. Uh, I have screenshots not that that means anything but anyway, so I got Orologium and uh, That allows me to actually not do anything yet because I need for it to come back out now uh, I think we will actually try to help out Teratara Bozu here. So what we want to do with him 
is we need to feed the sunflowers to him. And let's use, if they're up here, let's use some conveyor belts for that because that'll be fun. Do I have conveyor belts up here? I do, hooray! Uh, I suppose probably I don't really need to worry too much about automating um, like the creation of the bone meal and stuff for it because it doesn't rain that often. I throw a stack of bone meal in, I mean, that's gonna last 64 rains. That's, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah, so we're not gonna worry about trying to do, uh, to do that. Should we just put it right back where it was? No, it's kind of in the way right there. Let's put it over here. Yeah, let's put it here. All right, so here we go. We're gonna have the uh, have the sunflower here. No, we're gonna have the sunflower up here. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do, right? Yeah, I like that. Okay, we're gonna have the sunflower right there. We'll have like a few sunflowers here. We'll just make a sunflowery kind of thing over here. Yeah, lots of sunflowers. There we go. Yeah. Woo! It's a theme. It has to do it at the head. Okay, so let's do it like that. Because that's there already. Yeah, okay. Uh, just for fun, I'm going to put this button on it. Not really for fun, it's for, for testing purposes. That's, let's be honest. Uh, I'm going to put the rain sensor back on top of it. There we go. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to grab that sunflower. Let's use a hopper hawk. Let's use a hopper hawk to do that. Uh, that is Botania hopper. We need a gr light gray petal, and we need a. I'm gonna go ahead and take two of each. That's fine. We'll we'll make more later. Get a redstone root. I don't have one. Oh, I do. I do have one. Yay! All right, ruin of air. What do you need? Yeah, plenty of mana over here. I've been feeding char. Uh, excuse me, coal into it from my. Contraption, my mineralis contraption. And string. Oh, I need a piece of living stone too. I need to grab my wand. Uh, forest. Ah, cool. Okay, next is the hopper hawk. Let's throw that in there. And? Is it gonna work? Nope. <laughs> yes. Why does it take so long? That's just weird. Great, okay, here we go. We got our hopper hawk now. So let's get back over here to the main part of the base. And what we wanna do is we wanna make sure it's only picking up the sunflowers. And so we need to make an item frame for that. Do I have sticks? I do. And then we're gonna want, I think, just a regular old hopper if I have one. I told, told you guys I would show you how to make a floating flower, perhaps, and it looks like I'm going to do that. So I just need to remember how it's done. <laughs> yeah, use one of these. So pasture seed, that's what we want. So we need a piece of grass. I do actually kind of want to get back to working over here on the Batania base. I've got a couple of things I want to do to it. Got a couple things I want to make. Uh, not going to do that today though. Let's get a flower. And it has to be not one of the magic flowers. It has to be one of the Batania flowers, like that one right there. And a, uh, here we don't need our shears anymore. Let's put those away before we cause an accident. Let's grab a piece of dirt. And then I believe it is like so. Um, I said, I believe it's like, so. oh, right, it's got to be glimmering. It's got to be a glimmering flower. So first what you do is you take a couple of pieces of glowstone. Right, 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 right. You can use these as lights too, by the way, to put around your base. I've never, never done that before, but it seems like it might be kind of fun. We might have to play around with that a bit. There we go. Let's go to someplace dark. I want to see like, how much light it actually puts out. Looks like a good spot. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? Cool, I like that. Well, I might have to use these somewhere. Okay, but not right now. Highway to the danger zone. 
Oh yeah, thread the needle. Yeah. Oh, taken out by my own house. <laughs> okay. And then we take that and our hopper hawk. Yeah, there we go. Now we have a floating hopper hawk. Let's put it right here then. Okay. Uh, and then what we'll do is we will put this hopper. Well, let's figure out where Terra Terra Bozu is going to go. Terra Terra Bozu is going to go zoo. Right, uh, right here. Have him kind of hanging out right here on the, not there. Not there. <laughs> Gosh. Holy Moses. There we go. Put him right there. Yeah. Is that what we want to do? All right. So yeah, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put this conveyor belt over here. So we put our, our hopper there. We put our item frame on there and then we put the sunflower on there. Okay. Now. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, um, didn't pick that up, right? One more time. Woo! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Stoked. 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 Okay. So now, now what we're going to do <laughs> is we're going to take it to the extreme. All right, here, here guys, I want to show you this because I've seen some of you guys using the conveyor belts and it's been most disappointing and unsatisfying to see you guys shafting yourself by keeping them, all right, get out of my hand, by keeping them flat. All right, shift, boom, there you go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> all right, don't limit yourself. Don't limit yourself. All right, here we go. We're going to put these... Uh, this is all just going to be kind of a thing right here, I think. Um, I'll uh, put something different under there. So let's figure out where Bozu's going to be. Let's place him. Let's put him right... We need to expose to the sky. All right, let's put him right here. Uh, is that high? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. All right, there's Bozu. And, uh, I don't know, maybe put a little blank under, uh, put a fence post under him or something. I don't know, something like that. Uh, and then, uh, maybe we can put a little, um, illumination under him. Yeah, maybe something like that. Uh, this one over here, by the way, was an accident. <laughs> I did not mean to put that there. Just happened. All right, so we're going to come up here like so, yeah. Do like that yeah okay I like that I like that and then we need another conveyor belt facing into that because we need to come down onto this one catch it and then drop it down so then that means we can come down here I think on this one and this should do it I think okay cool all right that should uh that should do it. <laughs> All right, guys. There we go. Uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, whoops. Hang on. There we go. All right. I think I've fixed the Terra Terra Bozu now. Uh, let's turn him around. Just get him facing the right direction. Okay. Oh, right. He spins. <laughs> Never mind. There is no right direction because there's no wrong direction. I want to make that look a little bit more sturdy, though. So, yeah. There we go. Factory blocks. really like these. I think these look really, really cool. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like I have any treated wood stairs. So let's make some of those. Uh, those are a thing, right? Yes, okay. <laughs> I can not remember there for a second. We'll use this as this part right here. There we go. That looks nicer, I think. Um, could probably also do that like, like here, maybe. That work. Uh, no, that doesn't really work, does it? But I could use it under here, I suppose, if I wanted to try to make it look a little more angly. So, perhaps? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's not bad. It's not too bad.
Yeah, there we go. That looks better. Right? <laughs> I think. Definitely looks busier. Definitely. Definitely looks... Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's moving. I love moving stuff. Yay. Um, yeah, this over here doesn't look very sturdy, I have to say. I don't think I like the way that looks. Um, what if I use some of these factory blocks there instead? Would that look better? Oh, I like that. That might work. Bloonk. And then I can take these steps and I can put them like right here, right? Tie it all together. There we go. Oh, okay, now it looks like something's holding it up. Okay. Yeah. Right? <laughs> right, right. I dig it. I dig it. Okay, now we just need it to rain. Now we just need... Oh, do I need to put more... Yeah, I'll have to get some more of that. Okay. Hmm. All right, guys. I think we fixed Terra Terra Bozu. Very excited. Just need to wait for a rainstorm and see what happens. I hope we're nearby the base when it rains next. It'll be funny if we're not. <laughs> I'll have something new to complain about. All right. Let's get this... Uh, let's get our affairs back in order here. Oh, here we go. Getting lots of bone meal here. Okay. All right. There we go. We got our bone meal. Got to stop by and throw this in. And I just want to go see over here what constellations are available for us to uh, use with our stellar refraction table. Um, yeah. Mineralis. Cool. Armara. Um, what? Does Mineralis do to a tool? Fortune, also known as the coal miner's cure. Miners who drank a potion exposed to Mineralis have reported greater fortune in their work. The same result has been observed in tools exposed to the same constellation. Really? So that's how we get fortune on our tools. Well, that's... That's good to know. Let's do that. Um, so what we want to do is we want to capture the Mineralis... Uh, constellation on one of these pieces of infused glass. Uh, so you have infused glass and it's kind of hard to see. Um, and then I have this parchment in there. I want to wait until the moon is up just a little bit though because uh, it'll, well, it's, you know, let's just see. Maybe, maybe it'll work. Oftentimes they will fail. Oh, that worked. Okay. i do this. Oh, yeah. No, can't do that. <laughs> All right, let's let the moon get up a little bit higher, get, get a little bit more strength on it. The placement of the constellations seems to have great impact as to their dominance in the final pattern. The fewer overlapping points from each constellation's influence, the stronger their presence will be. So we want to overlap them, but overlap them very little. Let's see if we can't get this to work now. Oh, yeah. And there we go. We have a mineralis engraved glass. I want to make a, uh, actually, you know what? I could use this diamond one right here. Let's do that. Let's use the diamond one. I'm going to throw this on here. There we go. And if I were clever, I could probably figure out a way to make an engraved, an etched glass that has like that high level mineralis on it. Fortune three. Hooray. Uh, the high level mineralis on it and mending and all that kind of stuff. I'm pretty sure that's possible. Um, so maybe what we should do is see if we can't figure that out while we still have that, uh, still have that in the sky. And I do have more glass here and hopefully I have enough parchment. So we got, uh, Litas, yeah. And we'll do Mineralis and Mineralis. Nope. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Let's make a... Awesome pickaxe. So we need three of those, two of those. Okay, one, two, three. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm using three of those. But it's okay, they're super easy to make, right? Oh, exciting. I can't wait to see what this does. I hope it's good. I hope it's a big one. Fortune three. Come on, fortune three. Fortune three, fortune three, fortune three, fortune two. And no mending. What? 
Okay, well, I, I thought that, that was going to put fortune and mending on, so I'm a little surprised. So let's go ahead and put this one on and see what happens. Uh, maybe it don't, it didn't do it because it was the crystal and mending doesn't do anything on it. Oh, that's probably what it was. Crap. Well, I just put uh, I just put fortune two on a really awesome awesome thing that didn't need to have it. Okay, looks like we've run out of moonlight. It's not going to let me take the. Yeah, it's not gonna, not gonna, not gonna take. So we'll have to come back and try that again. Well, I feel like I learned something there. I, I think I, I definitely, I got a fortune three thing, so that's okay. I think that it should. I think, I think that it should actually put both of those things on the item. And <clears throat> excuse me, I think it should put both of those things on the item. And I think the reason it didn't is because the crystal one doesn't actually use mending. It uses its size as uh, basically its durability, or it's the cutting. I think it, it uses its cutting as the durability. That's what it is. So yeah, that's why the mending didn't show up. So basically, I took an awesome, awesome highest tier crystal pickaxe, and I turned it into garbage so <laughs> I can I mean, I'll be able, I can put fortune 2 on a book and then I can combine them in the anvil so it's not total garbage but uh, yeah that's disappointing let's see what do we got here it looks like we've got dose crystals all right um so uh, this here is an example of it not working <laughs> my little setup over here not working because that should have hit the uh, 100% Excuse me, that should have hit uh, size 900. And if you recall, it was cutting 100%. It should have hit size 900 and got sucked into the here. Um, doesn't always work. It doesn't always work. So, um, yeah. If you wonder why I keep breaking the grindstone, it's because it is bugged. And uh, I have actually updated the uh, version of Astral Sorcery that I'm running to the latest one. Oops. All right. You go back in there now. <laughs> up to the latest one, but uh, it uh, doesn't seem to have fixed that bug, nor has it fixed the bug where all of this, all these rituals and stuff stop working when I change dimensions. So if I go to the nether and I come back, everything over here stops working right, and I have to quit the game entirely and reboot it, and uh, so I don't go to the nether. <laughs> I, I'm just avoiding that. See, But anyway, that's all the time we have for today, guys. Uh, I've been walking around stalling, just jabbering, hoping that it starts raining because I really want to see this work. I really want to see this work. I don't need that there, though. I'm just going to put some more of these sunflowers around just to make it all jolly and happy looking. Uh, uh, well, what are you going to do? Okay, guys, that is all. Stay tuned. There will be more episodes coming this summer, probably, you know, a couple at least. And uh, uh, go back and watch the old ones. I don't know. Good. Go outside. Go camping. Go camping. It's a beautiful, beautiful summer out there. You deserve it. All right, guys. Have a great one. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Feed the beast. Yo-go.